Hey guys, this is for when I'm in the shop getting my hair done. Vlogmas still, I think it's day four, 15. Yeah, 14 or 15, I don't know, I forgot. Okay, y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but I had to give the blow dry a rest. I don't know if it's hormones, if I'm getting older, but it is getting very, very thin on top. So I'm doing a roller set. I used to always, believe it or not, I know this for a fact, I should have been doing this, but blow drying my hair has always thinned out, even when I was in my 20s. Like literally when I first started working, um, Back in the day when you would get a Clara Huxtable blowout, I would always need to sit under the dryer. So we're going to see how this does. This is my first time getting a dryer set for my uh, shop. But I'm going to sit here and enjoy sitting under this dryer. Hoping y'all are doing good today on day whatever it is vlogging. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. You're going to take me a little snooze. Okay, guys. All done. Yeah, I like it. Y'all, let me look at it really. Yeah, we're going to watch this. Yeah, watch the frugal nista get her do back the way it should be. This is much better. I can't see the back, but that's a wet set on me. Yeah, we're going to take it back old school. I'm going to do my hair like this until, um, you know, I'm sure it, it'll help that blow drying even though it's a cute look it just feels healthier it feels softer and I know I have always done better with a um, like a wet set or back in the day we used to call it getting my hair wrapped mm, I'm gonna have to turn around this way yeah, so I have been in the shop all day, basically. Usually I get in there early to get in and out, but I didn't get there until, uh, I think, 11-something. It's 3. And that is unusual for me, but I had three people ahead of me, which is fine. I'm going to run home. Actually, I need to stop at Hobby Lobby and pick up a glue gun. My glue gun I've had, I don't know, forever. Seriously, Magnolia used to use a glue gun when she was in elementary school. So, it's obviously time for me to get a new one. So, I'm going to stop at Hobby Lobby and get me a, myself a glue gun because I want to do a um, DIY. And I'm going to pick up dinner tonight. I am starving. I have not had, you know, I had a bagel earlier. Um, so, what y'all think? I am really feeling it. It is so... Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so we're going to work with this. You know, I had started, somebody told me about some vitamins to take and all that. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not good with taking pills and stuff. I just know doing this, the less I do to my hair, the better it is. So we're going to try to get it back healthy. And I think I was, I'm overcompensating for the length, for the thickness. I just want my hair thick. I don't really, the length I'm good with, you know. Uh, and growing it out like this, you know, but if it's on your back and it's thin, it's kind of like, okay, what's the point? Because I was about to do the big chop again. Y'all know I chopped all my hair off back in the day. Yep. And to be honest with you, I was going to do it again. And guess what? I don't have the face to carry off a baldy, but I was bald for quite some time when I, you know, cut all of the, um, oh, they put a gas station out here. Okay. Is it open? Yeah. Hmm. I'm just, I didn't know they put a gas station, a Sam's Club gas station right there. So I'm going to run into, first of all, I'm going to, um, order me something to eat from Texas Roadhouse. I am starving like Marvin. So since it's so late, but I'm going to run to order myself something to eat or us something to eat for dinner run into Hobby Lobby, pick up a glue gun, and possibly do a DIY with y'all for a day, whatever this is. 
Yeah, I'm still hanging in there. Yeah, I really like this, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's just, uh, yeah, this is gonna be better. Watch my, watch it thrive though. I just want it thick again. I really do. Yeah. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not when I you usually get it blow dry, you know, blown dry to this exact same style. And granted, I know I'm stuck with my Coretta Scott King, whatever. This is how the Frugalista are going to rock with it until I get my hair back healthy. When she would blow it dry, I would have all of these flyaways. She would call it new growth. I'm calling it no. That's where the blow dry has, you know, is basically slicing your hair, especially right here, you know. And look, I have no flyaways up here. So that's an improvement. Before I would be constantly telling her to put some kind of oil on it to, you know, make sure those flyaways are, are gone. But yeah, y'all, I am feeling this. I really am. My, I was, I, w I came into the shop today with it on my mind. I've been, I have been wanting to do it. And I saw a, a older lady in the, in the chair and she was getting a wet set. Now y'all know I don't have chemical on my hair uh, with the exception of when I color it, which is, you know, whatever chemical is in that. But I have not had a relaxer in my hair in, I don't know, forever. So um, in my mind, I wanted to do it the last time. And each time I get out of the chair because the, the pulling process on my type of hair my age it's not like i'm mirabella and magnolia i was feeling that heat on my scalp you know mirabella and magnolia their hair is thick they're young you know so when you're going through like that they're good to go but shoot in the top of my head i remember the last time i was like okay this is the last time i'm getting this done but i am so loving this yep it looks like it's about to snow i was going to go home and um do my Christmas tour because basically everything is done but I don't like the way the tree looks in the family room so I think I'm going to either take it down or change it I'm not even going to look at Hobby Lobby for a tree because I know they're gone already <laughs> and we'll just try again next year with me doing my you know tree in every room but I guess I do have a tree in every room technically it's just what size tree what I'm thinking about doing in the piano room is taking the tree up. It was up for, you know, when I had guests over the weekend. It looked okay, but I'm just not really pleased with that tree. So I'm going to take that tree down and possibly put a smaller tree on a table and use all of the family ornaments on that tree. Yeah, so let me go into Hobby Lobby. No, let me go. Let me order my food first and then go into Hobby Lobby. I am starving. Of course, Texas Roadhouse is not open till four o'clock. So I was kind of messing around in Hobby Lobby until they opened. I am so hungry, but I just ordered our food. I picked up a hot glue gun. Uh, I saw their mirrors on sale for 50% off. I don't think I'm going to buy a mirror because... Um, I feel like it's about to rain too. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy a mirror because I think I have something to put on that wall. I need something to put on the foyer wall. The way I have the tree situated, this is my first year not having a table inside my foyer. But they had a really pretty mirror in uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be big enough. Yeah, I don't think that mirror is gonna be big enough. But I need something round and pretty. But they, you know, 50% off their mirrors, you know, that wasn't too bad. Um, I need to go pick up some steak sauce. I don't know why I just didn't wait. Because they had, they said they would give me extra steak sauce. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just probably going to do a U-turn. I was going to go into Dollar Tree and see can I find some of those black uh, chargers. Those are so cute, guys. What do you Remember, think you want? seen anybody hold those. Those are really cute. Y'all, it is Jimmy Jam packed in here. So let me see can I find what I'm looking for and get out. What is this? Wow, it's been a minute since I've been in this store. I don't see any charges up front. 
Yeah, like I said, it's been a minute since I've been in here, guys. A hot minute. Yeah, let me go on and get my stuff so I can get home. Oh, I know I need some bobby pins. I'm going to pin my hair up tonight. I wish they had the big bobby pins like they used to have. I need some big ones from Mirabella. I can get away with these for tonight. Are they the same size? Yeah, those are the same size. They used to have the big ones. I also need the brushes. I bet you I can't find one. They used to have the good brushes. Oh, good. I cannot find any of my brushes. None of them. And these are good. I'll get three of these. You know, it may be four. Because mine keep walking away. I know Magnolia has all of them at school. Okay. What else? I don't need that comb, but that's a good buy on that comb, too. Yeah. Yeah, right up the street. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not the big ones. Okay, let me see if they have any steak sauce. Some pretzels. Yeah, let me see if they have my chargers. And what else do I need, guys? Steak sauce, I think. Right? Yeah, steak sauce. Of course, they don't have A1. Artie likes the A1. They usually have it, but they don't have any. I'm not gonna go with that no name. Do y'all see any steak sauce? Since they are giving us steak sauce, I'll try the Heinz 57. They're giving us steak sauce in there, but I don't see any. Do y'all see any? I also don't see any hot sauce. I'll get that just in case. granola that looks good guys they look like that would be good in some yogurt I'll get two of these doesn't it look good guys mm. it's lemon and blueberry let's see if they have my chargers okay i don't want the gold ones the gold ones here at the bottom. I don't need that. What's this? Like I said, y'all haven't been in here forever. It's cute. Let's see if I find Artie some. They don't have my kind. Uh, they don't have the dark chocolate raisinets. I guess that's a good thing. The 
because that's my favorite. Oh, oh they do. I'll check one more spot. Yeah, I guess I'm out of luck, y'all, with the chargers. I pick up for art. Art. Come right out with them. Thank you. Okay, y'all, I couldn't leave y'all hanging like that. I got catfish and green beans. Yum, yum, yum. Double green beans. This is my sauce. Mirabelle is throwing down with her. Got steak, shrimp, um, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. And we also picked up some, some potato wedges. Oh, those look excellent. I can't wait to get one. Okay. And of course, you cannot go to Texas Roadhouse without their incredible bread. My family likes it. To me, it's too doughy, but they like doughy. Uh, Art has corn. He has a porterhouse and a sweet potato. And is that it? Yeah, I got mine. And that's just sauce over there. That's it. And that's it, guys. Bye.